wish you were a superhero that could never get picked on in school? Hey, friend, if I stand on your shoulders, we would be the biggest monster at school. Come on, let's try that. Whoa! Ow. What are you guys doing? Uh, we're, we're trying to be the biggest monster at school so nobody will ever mess with us. I'm tired of ending up in the trash can. I'm not Oscar the Grouch. You guys like brothers or cousins or something like that? Custom sisters, third time removed. You guys know you don't have to be big to overcome the enemy. What? What are you talking about, Brother Donnie? The little guy always gets picked on. Well, not always. There's a little boy in the Bible that fought a huge giant. I bet he got crushed, cuss flat. Yeah, I bet he got flattened like a bug on windshield. Well, then you guys better listen to this story. Let me tell you a story out of the Bible where you can always find strength and direction in God's Word. There was a war in the land of Israel. The Philistine armies had come to fight, and they were ready and waiting on the mountaintop in their camp. King Saul and the men of Israel were ready too. They waited atop another mountain across the valley. A champion came out of the Philistine camp. He was a giant named Goliath the Gath. He cried to the men of Israel, Choose a champion for yourself. If he's able to kill me, then the Philistines will be your servants. But if I kill him, then you shall be our servants. Give me a man and fight. When Saul and the men of Israel heard these words, they were greatly afraid. They did not have a man who could defeat the giant. Now there was a boy named David, and he was the youngest of eight sons. While the three of his older brothers served in the army, David took care of his father's sheep in Bethlehem. One day David's father sent for him. He told David to take some food for his brother and their captain and to bring back news of the war. David awoke early in the morning. He took the food and set out for King Saul's camp. When he arrived, David left the food with the supply keeper. And when he found his brothers, as David talked with his brothers, Goliath came out again to challenge the armies of Israel. When the men of Israel saw Goliath, they were frightened and ran away. Some men said to David, Do you see this giant? King Saul will give riches and his own daughter in marriage to the man who can kill him. And David said, Who is this Philistine to threaten the armies of the living God? When the people heard David's words, they ran to tell King Saul. Then Saul sent for David. David said, Let no one fear the Goliath. I will go and fight this man. But Saul said, You cannot fight him. You're just a boy. He's a trained soldier. David said to King Saul, I kept my father's sheep. A lion came and took a lamb out of the flock. And I went after the lamb and I took it from the lion's mouth. I killed the lion. The giant shall be like that lion. The Lord who delivered me from the lion will deliver me from the Philistine. And Saul said to David, Go, and the Lord will be with you. King Saul gave David his own armor to wear in battle. David tried it on and said, I cannot wear this armor. It's too big and I'm not used to it. And he took off King Saul's armor. David took up his staff and picked five smooth stones out of the brook and put them in a shepherd's bag. And he took his sling and went out to meet the Goliath. When the Philistine saw David with his staff, he said, Am I a dog that you come with me with sticks? David answered, said, You come to me with a sword and a shield. But I come to you in the name of the Lord of the God of the army of Israel. This day the Lord will deliver you into my hand, and that all the earth may know that God is God in Israel. David put his hand in the bag, and he took out a stone. He put the stone in his sling, and he took careful aim. Then he swung the sling, and he threw the stone. The stone struck the Philistine's forehead and Goliath fell to the ground. When the Philistines saw their champion was dead, they were grew afraid and ran away. The men of Israel ran after them and drove them off. So David defeated the Philistines with a sling and a stone and the help of the living God. Man, I bet he went 
two inches into the ground. Yeah! His ancestors probably built that! <laughs> Didn't I tell you, monsters, that you don't always have to be big to take down a giant? Oh, what do you mean? That's what you said. That's what I said. Yeah, yeah, I remember Did that. Did you guys listen to the story? Yeah. Philippians 4, 13, which is our memory verse tonight, says, I can do all things through Christ which strengthen me. You know, as long as we have God on our side, there's nothing we can't do. All right, kids, did you enjoy that? 